Ooh, girl. I am here with our resident horse, Velvet Snatch, who is now our resident mic stand. <laughs> Again, <laughs> and we are jo and we are joined by Utica and Joy. Hi. Hi. Hello. What's up? Nice to meet you. Nice Hello. to meet you too. He's having a good drag con. It's so good. I love it. Yes, we're having a fabulous time meeting everyone and like seeing all the booths and seeing what everyone is wearing. It's been a treat. It is, and it's so international. It's so different from the LA drag con. I I really love it. The camaraderie is sickening. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. I see all the drag queens from all the uh, French and Italian and everything. It was literally the Olympics of drag yesterday. They're like lining us up by country, and I'm like, oh my god, we're athletes! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, that'd be a crack and show actually. The Olympics of drag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, if either of you were to ever return to the series, what challenge would you have liked to have done that? A challenge that you might have missed out on that you wouldn't mind doing, or a challenge that you would redo? Oh my God, bitch, I want to do a choreographed music video. Like, let's write a verse. Let's get some dancers or the talent show. It'd be sickening. I think uh, I made it pretty far in my season, but um, I didn't get it to like the finale portion. And that's when you show like the biggest of the big stuff. And like, um, I remember going home and you know, the girls continued to move on and they had built these huge dresses and big, like, um, fashions at the end. And I would love to just, like, showcase that, to show, like, the most grand of the grand stuff that we can make. I would love to do that moment. Yeah. Wow. Um, so what's been your favorite place to visit while touring around, like, globally? Was there anywhere that was on your wish list that you've finally managed to take off? Or? Um, London. We're in fucking London. Can I swear? Oh, I did. <laughs> so, whatever. It's, I've always wanted to come to London. I've been to the UK, but never had a chance to come here. And it is beautiful. We extended our trip a couple days after DragCon, yes. so we're going to bop around the town. Yeah. Um, when I came over here, once upon a time, I went to Edinburgh and I used to study architecture. So I got to see like the castles and like the cathedrals and whatnot. And that's going to stick with me forever. But London does have a special place in my heart. Yeah. So where does the inspiration come from for your fashion, for both your fashion designs and looks? Oh, my gosh. So I... I've always gravitated towards those women who could kind of kick your ass, like Pink, Eliza Dushku, any X-Men, like Rogue. So I always love just like a monochromatic or like a streamline of just a look that's like really fierce and it's like a strong female empowering like hero so i'm always like i want to look like i can whip your ass even though i can't and i want to look mean even though i'm not and i i just i kind of vibe with all of that like a superhero marvel fantasy mm -hmm. i love that you could definitely kick my ass anytime <laughs> um i say I, i've always loved like alice in wonderland and um kind of like the fantasy world that that has given to the um to this universe i am i uh i love to like have a little fantasy have a little bit of glam um yeah and uh i like to have kind of an otherworldly type of energy to my stuff yeah thank you so much for your time it's been wonderful to speak to you both i hope you enjoy the rest you, of baby you're Absolutely. gonna go out tonight yeah, yeah i'll see you out baby <laughs> see you soon it's nice Bye, to meet you both